All right, I think we are now live in the set. What? Where did half my uh, half my shark go here? Oh, there he is. Look, shark missing, shark back. All right, we'll leave that light on then. What's up, everybody? Phantom Tilt is already here in the chat. Let me let me type a little thing. Hey, dude. Where did that go? I don't think that went. Yeah, it went. All right. We're doing it. So let's play some Jaws, right? I got this game. She's about to take off. You can hear that I do not have a quiet fan in here. But I figured in honor of the new Patreon promotion where we are giving away members Jaws start buttons that I've created. I should go get some. It's 7 a.m. Let's get weird. I agree. I'm going to walk over here and grab some of these buttons because I'm nothing if not prepared. And I'm never really prepared. So here's what you get. If you're a Patreon member and you've got a Jaws, hell, if you've got a Deadpool and you want a Jaws button on it, just let me know. They're free, man. I'm not selling these. These are available for free. Tips are, of course, appreciated. But I will send these out to you. Oh, Monica says we look good. Of course we look good. Where'd my Diet Coke go? I'm going to put it here on standby. And we're going to blow this game up. I'm talking about 400 million points. I'm talking about let's go capture some sharks. Who's ready? Who's ready? As always, audio issues let me know. We can go up or down on anything. But for now, we're going to play in the ocean. Oh, that button feels so good to push. It feels so good to push that button. I'm going to park my mouse. So we play the intro scene here. Let's go on an adventure. Wouldn't it be cool if I got the skill shot right off the bat? That was almost it. All right. So normally what I've been doing is going for the bounty hunt right off the bat. Two ways to do that. I got to hit the damn reel, which is hard to get from a backhand here, or I could hit the quint ramp twice. Oh, I love that spinner. This of course is a Jaws premium because we only go first class here at the podcast shack. Let's see if we can get it here. Maybe we can backhand it. It rejects there. Even when it gets up there, it'll really get around like once. All right, let's go for the fin. Oh, I wonder if my fin's going to break on the live stream. So far, I was having problems with the, uh, with the air balls, but not really any problems with the fin breaking off. I think that was a hurry up that I totally talked through. Quint ramp, let's go. Ooh, there's an air ball, but that wasn't off the fin groove. That was off the stand-up target. All right, that was totally a T-Rex roar right there. That wasn't, sharks don't make that sound. That's not a sound that sharks make. Oh, we're getting fantastic here. Almost like we're at Margaritaville. Fins up, homies. I've been getting some requests to go ahead and stream some Jaws. Look at that. Again, that was off the corner of the stand-up target. His best shot in the game is right there. So satisfying. Why does my shark sound like a T-Rex? <laughs> Look at that King Kong roar. What sound are they using? God, guys. I don't remember that from the movie. I know Bruce the shark didn't work, but I know he didn't roar, man. All right, we should be ready to go. Oh, get in there. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No! All right, we lost the ball. Not a bad first volley, right? I haven't turned my pins on since coming back from TPF. I haven't played Looney Tunes since coming back. I just updated the new code though, so when we're done with whatever this is, I'm gonna go play some Looney Tunes on the new code. All right, can I get a skill shot? Nope. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Not that way, but we're in the bounty hunt. Let's start off easy.
We're gonna go for the Mako. Because if we catch that shark, it makes the other bounties easier. So I figure that's not a bad way to go. Although when I'm playing by myself for fun, usually I'll go for the Hammerhead. All right, let's bounty hunt for Jabba Hunt to finance my vet. I love these modes. Because while I'm playing, there's like this other game going on in the background. And it seems to be the thing that I need to, the most shots at is the spinner. So I go for that first. I think we damn near got it. All right, so here's what sucks. For Jaws multi-ball, we're kind of locked out from bounty hunting. So anything we do now doesn't count, which kind of sucks. Because it'd be fun to stack that with this multi-ball. Because when the multi-ball comes up, it's kind of like, okay, I just have to kind of pause whatever I was working on and we'll just hit the red shots. I know it's early, this game hasn't been out that long, but I feel about this game like some people feel about Jurassic Park. Like, <laughs> this game's so awesome. But Don, Stern is corporate. They're not holistic. Ugh. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. I love that shot. I haven't yet figured out the best strategy for a ball that doesn't make it up to the uh, to the upper play field. It comes down, you can let it dead flip off the left flipper, but then it just kind of goes, it hits a sling and goes everywhere. So I'm wondering like, what's the best way to recover that shot? So here's the other thing. Hey, extra ball, cool. The other thing I wish, like look at all these scenes playing out. They're great, right? Full assets, but I'm in a bounty hunt still. And now that I'm trapped up and I have time to look at the screen, I had to wait that long to see what I have left. I wish, like, there was a way to keep, you know, that information up there so when you do trap up and look, even if it's playing a scene, you can see, like, oh, okay, that's what I got left. Let me see if I can backhand the spinner. Oh, God, that makes me feel like garbage. Normally that's backhandable. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Ninji Tuts. All right, dude, I dropped your stuff off. UPS is bringing you a tube of goodness from the U.S. All right, so this was that. Oh, here we go. We got a skill shot. Thank you, Richard Dreyfus. So see right here, I can dead flip. But it doesn't really line up with anything. God, I love that ramp. Oh, okay, we just need spinners now. Let's see if I can get the spinners here. Yeah, da, da. You guys aren't going to be able to see the 3D on the video mode. Oh, either am I. My glasses are upstairs. Maybe if Monica's listening, she can go to the kitchen counter and grab my 3D glasses I left up there. Where's, where's the hell this, is this hurry up? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I think it's up the, up the upper ramp. No, no, don't, don't stay out of there. You stay out of there. All right, we bounty hunting yet? We bounty hunting yet? I think we, we might be. All right, let's get that Mako. This is fun. So now that we've satisfied the criteria, we just have to hit these green shots. The shark will come up, and then we bash the shark to weaken it. You do that three or four times, then you can reel the shark in. There's the T-Rex. Thank you, Poopy. Get that Mako. All right. Oh, that, that's the only thing that sucks. If you lose the ball. Oh, wait, I got the ball back. Oh, nice. Thank you, pinball gods. Come on, shark. Come on, shark. Come on, shark. Oh, you piece of crap. Whoa. Come on, come on. Hit the shark. It's the easiest shot in the game. Can we get the plastic shark that roars like a dinosaur? I kind of deserve that for missing it that many times. Oh, just set it down. Ah. Damn. 
damn it. So we got the shark down to 1%. <laughs> I took like 20 shots at it. I couldn't hit the rubber shark on the field. It's the broad side of the play field. Um, so if I would have gotten that shark one more time, we would have completed the bounty, reeled in the shark, and then I would have got the celebration multi-ball. But we'd lit the insert. To get to the great white, I don't know if we have to like capture all the other sharks first. This is the easiest skill shot in the game right here. Oh, and I missed it. I missed it. God, I am hot garbage, you guys. Whoa, language. Language, Sheriff Brody. <gasps> he said the thing. Did you guys hear it? He said the thing. Oh, that was crap. Do we even have any more balls? Standard when you need to hit those easy shots, you never can. Dude, for real. 170, that wasn't too bad for the first game here. We'll do another one. We'll go after that Mako. Where'd you put my glasses? Oh, they're there, okay. So, we will be ready with the, the baller 3D glasses. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. Let's go again. Oh, that star button is completely satisfying. There they are, man. All you gotta do, five bucks on Patreon, dude? Normally you gotta pay like $25, $30 for a 3D printed start button. I got them here for you. For free if you're already on the Patreon. Monica, you want more game volume? I got you. Oh wait, how do I do this? I don't have a coin door anymore. It's over at the powder coater. How's that? Ooh. I never see this screen. That's cool. All right, skill shot? Nope. I'll tell you what, though. So there are some uh, cool mode enhancements on this new code, particularly with the night swim that I've gotten into. Dude, this music is John Williams. Oh, come on. Now I'll make a living. There we go. I'm just like in shark happy land right now. Oh, I went for where the stand-up target wasn't. Ooh, there you go. Where are we at? Raft attack? I ain't done this mode in a while. Oh, we're bounty hunting. Let's go back. Let's go with Mako again. All right, where are we going? We got a green flashy on the upper play field. Oh, how satisfying would that have been? Can I get a fin? You bastard. There we go. Get up there. Oh, that was a blue shot. Let's go for the fin. Nope. Oh. Got the fin. Upper play field. Or, or the quint shot is also blue. Let's go for it. Oh, we can't hit anything. All right. Uh, whoa. I almost backhanded the upper play field. Yeah, I've never done that. Woo! No, yes, yes, let's get up there. Get up there, you. I don't have to take this abuse much longer. Oh, I want to cram that down its throat. Oh. Kaz, what's up? How you doing? Thanks for swinging by. We're playing some Jaws Premium. What a freaking game.
I should show off my topper too. There's just a topper cam on here. All right. Oh, you know what? I did figure out where this needs to be. Skill shot. There we go. No, 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 nailed it. Shoot it. Shoot it now. We got 80 more spinners to go. All right, we're going to play through this business and then we're going to do that shot. The moment. Here it is. Pinball moment. You bastard. Gotcha, bastard. Quince challenge, so we can do it. A three combo. Alright. Middle ramp. Right there. But now we're in Jaws multi ball. I want to finish my combo, man. This is the code stuff I'm talking about. I want to tie the knots, man. Oh, I guess I guess you could stack the knot tying because I just failed it. Thanks a lot, multi-ball. We need to get up upstairs here. I'm trying. I can only get that upper play filled off a clean shot like that. Does that count? Light gear. All right. That mystery award on the, the ship's wheel on the Orca is part of the new code. What the hell? <laughs> we just Arthur fonzarelli right over the fin. That was crazy. Seventy four. All right, what are we doing? Is this is this ball three? Ball three. All right. Easiest skill shot in pinball. Got it. All right. Let's catch the shark. Or, or hear me out, hear me out. We could just, we could just drain twice. All right, let's get some spins. No. Oh, how did I miss that fin shot? I don't deserve this hat anymore. You're gonna need a bigger boat, right? Get yourself some start buttons. Get yourself some Jaws start buttons. Five bucks a month. Stay for a month. I don't care. I'll still send these to you. Crush that can. You can print one of those shark fin airball mods like Rocket City has. Brad. Sir Brad. I have a Rocket City mod inside here right now. All of those airballs. I don't know where that last one came from because it, it like leaped over the fin before it even got to it. But all the air balls now are coming off of those stand-up targets. Hey Don, the white looks good in the boat. The white? Oh. Oh, that power ball if you put it in the boat? Yeah, I agree. That ceramic ball. Do I have skill? I have skill. Look at that. All right, let's go upstairs. Nope, 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 nope. Bro, bruh. Yeah. Oh. This game is ridiculously fun. People were talking about like, oh, the play field is so empty. And it's like, you get room to play in the ocean here, man. There's like eight interesting shots in the back here. I wish Venom had as much in it as this does. Oh God, it was so good. It was so good. Off the upper play field into the best shot in the game. 
off the fin, bounce back in the out lane, machete shot up the ramp, and let's go for the center ramp just to kind of reorient ourselves. What? That was like, that sequence was amazing. I mean, come on, dude. To Ian, dude, you're so right. God, my dad used to quote that line all the time when I was a kid. That and, and swimming with bow legged women. So, like, every time I hear it here, it's awesome. All right, bounty hunt's lit. I'm gonna go after the hammerhead this time. I actually want to catch something. All right, easiest skill shot in any pinball game ever. All you have to do is dribble out like urine from a diseased prostate. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Get. Any more news about the Stern sale? Worst kept secret. I would love it if Aimtron buys Stern. Oh God, that would be amazing. Uh, let's go up for play field. I've seen a lot of blue. Let's see what bounty is available. Tell you what, we're going after a hammerhead because I want to rip that spinner 150 times. A hammerhead shark attacked a swimmer in North Beach. Hmm. There we go. That's how you backhand that. That's how you backhand it. Oh, I got the fin and the shark at the same time. All right, upper play field time. Yes! Oh, it feels so good to be me right now. Here's the coolest thing. If you go and just graze this post, you can sometimes get the spinner like that from the mini flipper. How is that possible? That, I think, is the Keith Elwin difference here. Like, the degrees are just perfect to allow you to do that. What the hell is going on? Well, I got a shark jaw, guys. I have no idea how you collect those. Hit something, damn it. There we go. No. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Sold the nudge. We're making them produce only anime and cannabis pins. Gonna be wild. Oh, buddy. That was a fun sequence. Like, this game's so intense. Can you tell me if there's a good restaurant or hotel on the island? You walk straight ahead. God, this game is great. For me. This is probably like one step below Godzilla. This is definitely in front of Jurassic Park, for sure. I'm gonna embiggen my screen a little bit. There we go. How's the audio, guys? Sound good? Whoa, I can see myself now. Sold to nudge. Burp, 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 burp. There we go. So because of where I have this, 
Uh, I got part of the ceiling in the way here, so it's it, the effect's not perfect, but you know what are you gonna do? I guess I could paint my ceiling green. Sounds good. Nice. All right, easiest skill shot in pinball. Come on, disease prostate. Got it. Oh, we're still bounty hunting. We need two drop targets, two pops, one more mini lane. Let's see if I can get it right here. That should be the mini lane. All right. Some spins. We need... All right, there's the mini lane. So we need one drop, two pops, and 20 spinners. Or drain, you know, hear me out. I had every intention on finishing that. Oh, dude, I should have had you bring me back some voodoo glass. So this is cool. Occasionally, you will see Keith Elwin walk by that window. <laughs> I don't know what you have to do to make it happen, but I've seen it a few times where that little scene where he's typing on the typewriter, you see Keith just kind of walk right by. So cool. So, dude, I should have bought like five voodoo glasses and like put them in your truck. Stupid me. What do we get? Sca Scars champion. We didn't even break a hundred million. All right, it's gonna be dinner time soon. Let's do another game. I want to capture a shark. How's the clarity? It looks a little, the focus looks a little sus here. I want to have some good quality. Did that help? We'll get there. I don't even know how many people are watching. All right. Hell yeah, we're going to play again. There we go. All right, I'm definitely better at that skill shot now. That should open Bounty Hunt. Yeah, it did. Cool. All right. Hammerhead. Give me the hammerhead. Give me the hammerhead. All right. Spinners. Let's go for spinners. You bastard. You bastard. You big shark bastard. What in the world just happened? For f Ninji Turt's sake. That's okay. Easiest skill shot in pinball, right there. Oh. Wait. How did I trigger that award? Alright, focusing. Some spins there. The hammerhead's probably my favorite. Other than the 150 spins, everything else you just can get pretty easily. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, line it up, dude. Line it up. Oh, yes. What? I just bounced off that pin. That was nasty right there. There's sequences in this game that feel so good. Yeah. See, I wish I could look up and see what I got left. There we go. 61 spins. Oh, almost. Don't tell me what to do. 
Raft attack? Multiplier on next shot. Oh, sweet. That was cool. He said the thing! Alright, let's go. Come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> you bastard. Now what? Oh, Jaws multi ball. We had several ball wrong way exits to right lane swing today at launch party. What? Right lane. I've had that happen too, where it goes in the in lane and then out the gate for some reason. Not the ninja tuts. The ninja tats. <laughs> oh, not the ninja tats. Get the upper play field. There it is. Oh no. Well, we got up there. All right, where are we at? Where are we at here? I got a purple. What does a purple mean? trying to go for right now I have no idea the middle one's lit no I knew you were going out there did I get it all right Woo! We're still in the game fifty spins we need fifty spins we'll get fifty spins right here we just need a good rip <laughs> Can we, can we? Oh no! Ugh. I felt like I guided it right down there. I'm about to go to the bush dimension. Where did my music go? There it goes. I think all things being equal, the movie assets can push this above. Your oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. You mean to go from no movie assets to like the entire film? Skill shot level three. I've gotten this a few times. This one, basically, you just have to get to a drop target without touching any other switches. Couple ways to do it. First one. Is, oh, I think I'm. Oh, oh, I think I could have got it. I think it'll like it'll give you a sling, but. All right. What game is next from Stern? You guys think it's John Wick? Seems like a weird choice. That's a bad hat, Harry. That's a bad hat, Harry. I gotta do one more, man. I gotta do one more. Man, that screen is out of focus. The thing is, like, I was messing with this thing, and I have the focus all the way down. You know, that's obviously bad. And then... Oh, right there. Okay. Oh, that's better, actually. All right. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. All right, play field. Definitely out of focus. Oh, right there. How's that look? Is that better?
Well, I'm in on whatever the next stern is. Because that's the fourth one for my experiment. Of course, I have to sell Jaws. Of course, I have a buyer for Jaws, so that's not a problem. So I guess we'll get John Wick, and then after that, we'll take a break and we'll just kind of buy based on <laughs> how the games look. Do we believe the whispers that a mystery designer is going to drop us a game in April? April seems a little soon. I would think that the next Stern Cornerstone should really be like June. Maybe announced May, release June. But April is really one month earlier. Announce April, release May. I guess that could still work. Um, we would see it at Southern Fried Gaming Expo in uh, July in Atlanta. So I guess that would work out. I'll tell you what, we're not going to see is the new spooky game in July. And we're not going to see it in October, which is what I thought was going to happen because they released Scooby-Doo in December. And then Looney Tunes and TCM was like November. So I'm thinking, okay, we'll, this, we'll do this 11-month cycle. And then October this year would be the next spooky game. And they're not making 2,000 TCM and Looney Tunes. It's only 1790 or something. Wait. 888 and 888. Yeah, 17-something. 1760. 17... 66 some something like that anyway so i thought that would like line up perfectly but i don't know brad everybody wants pulp fiction i ordered one in june and i ain't got it is it coming who the heck even knows but i'll tell you what you can go buy the mirror blades right now from coin taker does anybody know if like they're just standard mirror blades like can you use them from anybody or does it have to be like for that cabinet Sir, let me get on it. I do like the fact that I like I don't know what the the fish and the shark jaws are that I'm collecting, but I like that it keeps track of that for me and I can level up. Maybe at some point they'll actually like that'll make a difference. <laughs> See? Okay, that was an airball. I think that one legitimately came off the stand-up target. Why would you even own a pro, man? I was so rough on the peekaboo shark when I first played this game, but I dig it. Oh, how did he miss the fin? We got it, we got it. Oh, so satisfying to rip the spinner, man. <laughs> air balls. Air balls are the other upper play field. Kill it now. I've never added all bar all the barrels. I still don't know the rules of this game either. I know if I keep playing, eventually I get the multi ball, but as far as how to trigger it. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, we hit the back of the fin. Oh, hit the back of the fin twice. You know what? That's fine because we haven't lost our ball yet. So we get to keep playing. Scars. Scars, Beach Panic, Night Swim, Pond Attack. I don't think Beach Panic is a thing yet. Ooh. Do you guys even play with a shaker motor? I got mine in, I love it. <laughs> that roar is so stupid. Sharks don't roar. <laughs> Oh my god. There we go. This means something. Dart like in uh, Stranger Things? Oh, you bastard. What a freaking game, dude. I want to LEO this. 
I'm getting the next best thing. I'm getting my premium tricked out to look like an LE. Yes. No. We didn't even bounty hunt yet. What is it counting down to? Oh. I got your fish finder right here. Hey, Monica, if you're watching, start the spaghetti. Oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. Dude, shaker motors for sure, man. All my games, put them in there. Like, cause why not? Otherwise it lays there like a dead fish, right? I wanna feel that rumble. Are we gonna get to 300 million? I wanna have a good game. Why is my bounty hunt so low? Uh, So, if you pull the plunger back to the right area, it's pretty easy to get the skill shot. There's a the T-Rex. <laughs> Somebody needs to grab the T-Rex head from Jaws, or from... <laughs> The Jurassic Park and put it in here. So it's just like T-Rex. Ah. Thomas Hongi. That's right. Nah, that's code. Yeah. Start the spaghetti! Please. Oh, you bastard. That was the easiest skill shot in pinball and I missed it. Oh, okay. How did I get an extra ball? <laughs> oh, that's the hardest shot to get from the left flipper. Oh, I'm going out on that one. That was good. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I feel like I'm a cat watching a laser pointer. And you can fuck you, too. How about that? Start the spaghetti. Oh, I can't get mad at this game, dude. This game's awesome. Look at this. Look at the topper up there. Got it. Here it comes. Everything is integrated so well in this. Oh, I was gonna get it. Oh. <laughs> Bad hat, Harry. Bad Harry hat. What's the hardest skill shot you reckon Iron Maiden to the Outline, maybe? I seem to do that one all the time. Uh, Elvira's not very easy because you have to get it just so. What else is harder than that? Farewell and do to you, fair Spanish ladies. It's fun to do the ones on Jurassic Park because, of course, that one it plunges straight to your flipper, and then you have to hit the the dinosaur. And then you hit the dinosaur, and then you get to hit like the ramp, and then you hit like the other shot. It's like a one, two, three. Foo Fighters hitting the uh, the stand-up targets, or the drop targets. That's not very easy. All right, what else do you guys want to talk about? Since this is a live, I'm done playing. That was fun. We had fun. We played some Jaws. 
Oh, this game is awesome. Right on the other side of Jaws is Black Knight Sword of Rage, which is just like an amazing game. Maybe we'll stream that one next time. Oh, I'm going to go play the new Looney Tunes Cone. That's what I'm going to do. After I get spaghetti, final thoughts. What would you guys think? As always, bring the feedback. We'll use it to continuously improve. This is my favorite pinball accessory. I put this on all of my games. Thank you, Jersey Jack, for bringing this into the wild. I love this. I, I put it on Jaws. I was, I was at uh, TPF, and Christopher Franchi had his booth set up right next to Spooky Pinballs, and he had a limited edition Godfather there. What the hell is that March Mania crap? And uh, anyway, he had these on his game, and so I took these off, and I stuck them over on, uh, I think, Texas Chainsaw Massacre for a while. <laughs> just just ganked them and stuck them over there. Uh, I kept walking by the Jersey Jack booth, and they had the gold lines, and I'm like, dude, I, I want to go gank those and go put them on something else, but I didn't want to get yelled at. But I love these. The only way you could get them, besides ganking them from Chris Franchi, is to buy the uh, LE accessory kit, which I did. And then I parted out everything else, the top or the art blades or whatever, but I kept these because <laughs> these are so much damn fun. They're... All right, they're gross. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I'll buy that. I ain't going to argue with you, but just, oh, they dress up any game you put them on. If I could cast things, oh, man, I got to find a way. I got to find a way to, to mass produce these so I can put them on, like, I want all of my games to have these. I think it's just plastic. Jersey Jack, can I buy, like, 20 of these, please? Just these. Because I want to put them on everything. They're just like the perfect, the perfect accessory. I've got them on my Harbor Freight rolling toolbox. Dude, I can put them on. Oh, they go on the streaming rig. Oh my god. The next time I do public streaming, I gotta put these on my streaming rig. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Look at how cool that is. Just just put them right on there, right on the streaming rig. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> oh, it's, I'm having ir irrationally good time with these things. All right, so last plug. I've got Jaws Start Buttons, and they're amazing. And they're free uh, to Patreon subscribers. But Jersey Jack Pinball, when you're done buying Stern Pinball, would you please bring those to market as just an accessory that I could just purchase? So, 3D printing. Ah, dude, I'd have to scan them. I don't know. My 3D modeling skills are not... Here, this is where my 3D modeling skills are at, okay? I can make start buttons. I can't make quality Jersey Jack leg covers. But if somebody could do that, I would love to print those off, man. All right, man, I'm going to go get dinner, too. Thanks for indulging me. As always, I welcome your emails. If you're grandmas, to donspeoplepodcast.gmail.com. Otherwise, Instagram and the DMs and the Facebooks and get at me, whatever. Snapchat me if you're cool. Um, but yeah, uh, Phantom Tilt, you got your stuff coming out, dude. I hope you enjoy it. Threw a couple of cool stuff in there, too. Uh, so maybe do an unboxing, right? <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody. We'll be back probably next week with some more streaming goodness. Maybe a week and a half, depends on what's going on. Um, but yeah, we'll be dropping more content consistently because like, I, I don't know how to quit. I don't know how to quit. All right, later, everybody.